And then the next message that I will speak is very controversial. But let me preface this message by saying, I'm not a politician, and I can't explain why God shows me political things. But I suspect he shows others, and some people are afraid. That's what the Holy Spirit tells me, that I show many people, thousands of people, the same messages that I show you. But many people are afraid of persecution. If you, if you knew the insults that I receive into, into our message system, our email system, we receive insults even on YouTube. We delete a lot of insults there. Hallelujah. So to do the will of God, you have to be very brave. But I mean, no one will eat you when you are doing the will of God. So the next message, it's a political message, but it's the will of God for for us to speak it so that people won't be dismayed when these things they come to pass. In a race between the elder one and those younger than him, in a certain African nation, I saw him emerge victorious. I see talk of working together after the contest. Let us watch and pray. In this time and for this African nation, it is, it is not yet time for the David versus Goliath kind of situation, says the Spirit of God. Let us watch and pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know I'm disappointing a lot of people, but this, that's what God has pushed me by the Holy Spirit to come and speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I didn't mention... So you can't accuse me. I didn't mention the specific African country. You can plug in your own favorite country if you want. It's up to you. I didn't mention any country. Did I mention any country? Let me read the message as it is. In a race between the elder one, the elder one, the, the oldest, the elder one, and those younger than him, in a certain African nation, I saw him emerge victorious. I see talk of working together after the contest. Let us watch and pray. In this time and for this African nation that we are talking about, it is not yet time for the David versus Goliath kind of scenario, says the Spirit of God. I'm not the one who is saying that. The Spirit of God has to talk through someone. So the David versus Goliath kind of situation, for this, those who are in the Spirit, they know what I'm talking about. It's not yet time for the David versus Goliath kind of situation. Hallelujah. And then a lot of people insult me because of messages like this one. But we have to speak the mind of God so that people don't wake up, you know, don't wake up destroying a nation over nothing. Hallelujah. When you know the mind of God in advance, you are able to prepare. Because to, to, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. Let us say to be forewarned is to be forearmed. I will repeat the message because it's a very important message for the last time, for the third time, which is the last time. Maybe I will speak it on, on Sunday. I may not speak it, but maybe I will speak it. In a race between the elder one and those younger than him in a certain African nation, I saw him emerge victorious. I see talk of working together after the contest. Let us watch and pray. In this time and for this African nation, it is not yet time for the David versus Goliath kind of scenario, says the Spirit of God. Let us watch and pray. Amen. Because this elder one that we are talking about, he has been given a short season. And uh, this elder one will encounter two very serious opponents. I know the opponents that I'm talking about. But the opponents of this elder one are not the people that he will be contesting with very soon. Let us pray.